through the lot, now you know I'm coming through When the growth look good on you, best believe they wanna screw now I've been trying to climb, devil threw me in the dark Baby, don't be insecure, you can still go make a mark like Blow. Could never let them drain my soul now Blow. Table turning like doorknobs, wow Blow. I think I'm about to set sail I'm a walking living legend, walking with my chest yeah. now Life keeps dealing me cards, I keep fitting in love what is going on, people? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're back with another summer transfer targets, guys. Big up your damn self. Big up everybody who has been liking these videos. Um, the, those who message me, uh, the ones who obviously um, speak to me about certain players and things like that. You know, I appreciate every single conversation. I love, love, love chopping up. You know, I'm a football fanatic guys you know i'm going to also put that time in as well in regards to doing these kind of videos so i do big up you know or, or sorry i would like to say you know big up to everybody you know kind of rocking with me with these transfer videos um those transfer target videos you know during the season we should have some more kind of fun in terms of analyzing certain things you know i, I just like to delve in you know, to the to the world of football. I'm not just going to give you all the boring stuff like the transfer news and, you know, all of these kind of various different things. You know, we've got to go deeper than that. Pause. But again, pick up your damn selves, guys. Please make sure you like, please make sure you share, and please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. But today we're here to talk about a defender who has had a fantastic season last season for his club side and as you guys can obviously see on the screen that is Facundo Medina now <clears throat> the lens uh, center back plays on the he can play left back as well so again definitely a player who has caught the eye wasn't really someone I was you know too focused on you know this season it, to be honest I was more focused on lens as a team um in terms of their performances you know this season you know absolutely fantastic fantastic season um, from Lens, you know, almost won, almost won the league, to be honest with you. But, you know, unfortunately, fell, fell short of the last hurdle. But, you know, a big factor to that was Medina. You know, the Argentine internationals got himself three caps as well. You know, he's, he's, he's new. He's obviously new to the, in terms of the international stage. He's 24 years of age, you know, just turned 24 at the end of the season. So, you know, he's kind of new to the, all of this in terms of the hype and all these kind of various different things. But I feel like he's taken every single thing in his stride he is an absolutely fantastic player and again I talk about it a lot you know because I there's obviously more biasness if I'm being totally honest with you in terms of the way I like my teams to play you know the, the things I like to see from if, if I had a team you know this is how I would kind of you know want them to play you know I make a lot of reference to you know someone like Pep Guardiola purely because I feel like he's the best manager plays the best football you know, has the best team, the best players, all these kind of various different things. But it's more about the way he plays football and the way he obviously uses some of his players, the way he's probably the smartest guy I know in football in terms of being able to get your players to do specific roles and functions within teams, you know, as opposed to other managers. You know, other managers are really good. You know, there's very there's a lot of good managers out there, but I don't feel like they implement their systems the way that Pep Guardiola does. And I think that when you look at someone like a Facundo Medina for Liverpool, he might be a good sign. Like, and this is why I put him in my kind of transfer targets kind of thing because I, I want to see someone like this because I want Liverpool to be playing better football than we have ever played, if I'm being totally honest with you. I want us to be a team who know how to control possession both from the back and in the middle and up top, you know, but also take care of the ball, but also with a purpose, you know. And I feel like having someone like a Medina who can play in that left centre-back role, obviously we know Liverpool um, are using that inverted role, you know, that kind of inverted position. That's going to be something that, you know, we're going to be looking at, you know, I, I assume anyway, you know, to as the season kind of progresses. And when you see here, you know, Facundo, you know, is someone who can play in that back three. That's what he's done mostly this season. This defence, you know, mostly of Kevin Danzo, Medina and uh, Jonathan Gratic, you know, that those three mostly, they're the reason why, you know, Lenz almost won that league. They conceded the least amount of goals in the league. 29 goals conceded, one point off of PSG. Now, that's PSG, a team that we all just expect to just keep walking the league. Now, they've had a poor season in terms of the performances that they've put in this season. If you've been watching League R, uh, you'll see it. You know, they've had some really, really poor performances. But Lens have been just, you know, absolutely outstanding, in my opinion. And they would have been my team. I don't know who it was, but they would have been my one, one of my teams of the season anyway in League R, but also around Europe, you know, definitely. And I, I might actually do, you know, a show, you know, on that in terms of, you know, 
best teams, um, you know, their best team performances around Europe, you know, in the 22-23 season. They're definitely in the top five easily, you know, easily, easily, easily. But, you know, when we're looking at someone like a Medina, again, we're looking at the modern day centre back. We're looking at someone who can play out from the back. I know, listen, I also want my defenders to be able to defend. I, I need them to be able to do that because if you can't do that, you know, then it, it's kind of pointless almost, you know, kind of thing. But at the same time, because of the way that football is moving, because of the way that we're trying to get all of these kind of progressive players and stuff like that, he is definitely a player that I would like to see, you know, in the team, in that left centre-back role. He's 10 million times better than Robbo on the ball. Um, and he's a decent defender. Robbo is probably more intense than him. I'd probably say that much. But I don't really even feel like the defending from both players is that that much different. You know, um, I'd say maybe one area that he would need to work on is his um, aerial jewels. He's not that great at it. I know that Klopp does like to put a little bit of emphasis on that in terms of our aerial jewels and winning them winning them more often than not. So that might, you know, be a stickler for him, but he's got good height. So it is kind of baffling that he doesn't. But, you know, it's one of those kind of things. Uh, looking at, obviously, at his style of play, um, um, in terms of the uh, lens manager, uh, his system mandates that the wide centre-backs pull wide in possession in order to progress the ball through the lines and launch attacks. Medina is the epitome of the modern-day ball-playing centre-back, boasting the most progressive carries, 2.62, and, and progressive passes, 7.71, for centre-backs in Europe's top five leagues. He has an elite level of technical ability with 81.16 attempted passes per 90, uh, the highest at length and ranking in the top 2% of centre-backs in Europe. We just need to go back to that, you know. 81.16 attempted passes per 90, and he's ranked in the top 2%. You know, progressive carries at 2.62, progressive passes, you know, at 7.71. You know, it, it, it's scary hours. It's scary, scary, scary hours. You're looking here, obviously, you know, j just to kind of, so you guys can kind of see it for yourself. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy for someone to be that good, you know, on the ball in terms of his, you know, even look at his take-ons. He's ranked in the top 2%, you know, for centre-backs. That, that, that immediately should just tell you that he's one of the most comfortable centre-backs in Europe. Easily, easily. You know, he would have to be because he's ranked in the top 2%, you know, uh, of that. Progressive carries, passes, pass completion rate. You know, he's ranked in the, uh, the top 10% of that. Uh, you know, progressive passes received, you, you know, assists, non-penalty goals, <laughs> you, you know, it, it's mostly coming up green. Now, again, this is where I say I do want my defenders to be able to defend because you take a look at the bottom, it doesn't really rank that high in terms of all the other things, you know, tackles, interception, blocks, clearances, aerial duels, you know, really, really poor. All of those things are things that he definitely, you know, would need to work on. But, if I'm being totally honest, if you take a look at everything else and you then tell me that he's a defender, you also then tell me that he's one of the reasons, not the, not the sole reason. I, I won't give um, the other day, like Kevin Lanza, I'm not going to give these guys um, discredit or this. Or I'm not going to discredit these kind of players because they were definitely a part of everything and the whole setup and how Lenz played. But he's one of the one of the main contributors to why they were so good last season, why he's then got himself an international call-up. It's not because of anything else other than the fact that he's so comfortable on the ball. He's someone who can progress play. He's someone who can fire in a pass into that midfield or into the attack. Is that not what teams are looking for now? You know, we, we, it, we've gone on the days now, really and truly. We're going to, you know, stop seeing the, what we saw with the Trents and the Robbos, you know, who were, who were fantastic at it. Absolutely fantastic at bombing up and down the field and being the creative players, you know, within a team. We're going to, I feel like we're going to move away from that now. We kind of moved away from it really quickly, if I'm being totally honest. We didn't really get a long period of time, but it was fun while it lasted because this way now is more conducive, I feel, to uh, teams becoming a lot more progressive. And again, it's all about being in that build-up play, you know, understanding where they need to be on the pitch. Medina, someone who obviously can play on that left-hand side, can also fill in at left-back if needed as well. Um, you know, you can see here, left central defence, you know, again, an area we do need to cover. I feel we're definitely an area we need to make sure you know, we kind of get right this summer because if we don't, then I feel like it's going to be a major, major problem, you know, heading into the season. In regards to his passing, um, he helps Lens out tremendously in sparking counterattacks. His forward passes break opposition defensive lines and help his teammates create opportunities within a couple of passes. His pinpoint passes can help release the attacking unit 
as he tends to play directly in to those areas. Again, you're coming up against a team like Liverpool who do play in transitions. If you're able to then intercept or the team are able to intercept and then you get the ball, instead of this whole kind of thing where I always feel like with, with like say, a robber or something like that. Now, obviously, look at Medina's heat map. You can see he's um, relatively all up and down, you know, that field. He's got that athleticism. Now, <clears throat> I'm, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't mention that, you know, because obviously that is something that I'm not too fond of, if I'm being 100%, you know, with you. Again, I'm going to find the weaknesses in, in someone's play. I don't think they're all perfect. Um, I'm not 100%, you know, happy with that in terms of, you know, that would be something that he would need to maybe curb a little bit. Maybe it might be different at a team like Liverpool. But if Klopp is looking for someone who's a bit more similar to a Robbo, but just a bit more comfortable in defending in wide areas, then Medina would be a very, very good choice. But me personally, I don't want my left centre-back going too far, too far up, if I'm being totally honest with you. This might just be because of the way that obviously Lens play. You know, it could just be one of those kind of things in terms of how they use their wide centre-backs. But the way that we use our well, left-sided centre-back is that he's almost playing just as a left back. I don't want that necessarily to happen. I do want them to be comfortable out there, to be able to receive a pass, pick out a pass, dribble with the ball, all these kind of things. Those are the kind of things that I don't really feel that Robbo is necessarily good at. What Robbo is good at is getting up and he's, he's the intense intensity within the team. You know, he's that aggressive defender. He's the guy who's going to, you know, try and win the ball up high, even if it means that behind him is going to be completely and absolutely fucked. He's, that's just his game. You know, it's kind of that do or die kind of situation. So, you know, I need someone a bit more smarter in those kind of positions. So where, yes, I feel that Medina would be a better option than a Robertson. Still, there are areas where I'm looking at him and thinking aerial jewels, definitely something that he needs to work upon. But also as well, not to go so on just on your, you know, trademark runs and stuff. Like that. I don't want to see that. You know, I, I just feel that that then gives us less stability in that kind of back line. But in terms of the defensive side, being able to defend out wide, being a better passer of the ball than a Robertson, being, again, like I mentioned, more comfortable, more technique, got better dribbling ability, you know, all of these kind of various different things, it might actually work better, potentially, if I see something better in, who could do the, if you're going to get um, Robbo doing the exact same things he was doing last season, maybe I just need to see better of that then, because Robbo's clearly not someone who can do that, you know, to, to great effect, if I'm being totally... Um, just looking here, obviously Medina, uh, he boasts the technical ability of a central midfielder, allowing him to slot into a number of positions, such as left back who transitions into a left centre back role in a 3 2 2 3 uh, wide uh, formation. Again, Liverpool. Uh, his long passing is top notch, and playing on the left side opens up the pitch to him and allows him to switch to play with ease. So, again, is that not something that we're looking for? You know? Having a defender who can play in those kind of positions, having a defender who's comfortable in that left sided on that left sided channel, you know, being able to receive a pass, you know, on a half turn potentially, being able to find passes, all of these different things. These are all little, little things that I'm looking at when the dubs come to some of these players because I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking to myself, well, if you've then if you've got a player here as an as an example, like a Medina, and as I mentioned before, if it's just the case of you're going to get your defender kind of doing a similar role because obviously when you do look at the heat map say of a Medina you know he had he is quite similar to a Robbo in terms of getting up and down that left hand side if that is then the case okay maybe I just need to see better of that maybe I just need to see a better version of that to then see what it is that you're trying to potentially do and to be honest with the amount of defenders that we've been linked to have been linked to quite a lot of left-sided centre-backs I feel like it is almost time up for, you know, Andrew Robertson. But again, we shall wait and see. But guys, that is the end of the video. Try to keep it as short as I possibly could. We took a look at Facundo Medina of Lens, the Argentine centre-back. Very, very good ball-playing defender. If he doesn't move to Liverpool, I mean, he's going to get that move anyway to a bigger club, I, I believe, you know, in the future, especially the way that Lens are kind of, you know, moving if they have another good season. I think if Lens get into the Champions League again next season, be on the lookout for some of their players because they definitely will have a few players who are going to be on some of the top clubs' radar, you know, heading into the 24-25 season and potentially even sooner. But guys, let me know, obviously, what you think, you know, in the comment section. Do you think that Medina is a good player in a general sense? If so, would you like to see him at our club? If not, where do you think he could potentially go? What team kind of fits him best let me know what you're thinking in the comments i'm g and i